Visay Expert channel. See how already discussed about brief introduction of C programming language and how to install Turbo C++ in your computer system. And see first of all go through that video and next come this video. In this tutorial we shall discuss about the C token. The C tokens available in C programming language are keywords, constants, special symbols, strings, identifiers and operators. Now we shall discuss about each one of them in detail. Firstly keywords. Keywords are defined as those variables which have a special meaning and a predefined in C libraries. So this is was definition of keywords. Keywords are something which are predefined in C libraries which you cannot rename or you cannot reprogram them. For example, if we using the loops like do, while loop, while loop, for loop, then the methods and the functionality of those particular keywords guys predefined you cannot access them or you cannot redefine them or reprogram them so this is the meaning of keywords some of the basic example for keywords are for if else main void etc now let us move on the next stage of keywords where we will have the complete description of all the keywords available in c programming language so these are complete description of all the keywords which are used in C programming language which you cannot either access or you cannot change the functionality or you cannot rename them. These are all predefined and loaded into the C libraries followed by these we shall discuss a constant. The definition of constant goes like these constants are literates are like a variables. But the difference is that the value of the constant are fixed. Once they click, they cannot be changed. Now let us understand this in detail. Variables are those once after you declare them. You can either change their value or you can also perform the operations on them. But if you declare the same variables with the keyword constant in front of them, then you cannot change them. You cannot change the value which is stored in the variable declare with a constant keyword. The syntax for the declaring constant type variables are const followed by data type. After that the variable name or you can also declare a pointer type variable name with using the const keyword. Followed by this, the next one is type of the constant available in C programming. The first one is the integer constant. Followed by that, we have floating point constant. Later, we have a character constant. Then we have a string constant. And finally, octal or hexadecimal constant. Next are the strings. The definition of strings is defined as follows. Strings are defined as the collection of characters defined in form the array at the end with a null character with which describe the end of the strings to the compiler strings are nothing but character type array. In a strings we have the alphabetic data which is stored in the form of arrays alphabetical in the manner A to Z not the number or special symbols. Once after the string is declared in a C language, it has to end with a null character, which is the only special character used in a strings, which will be indicate the compiler that it is the end that a particular string. Now we should learn the syntax for declaring string in a C language. The syntax is first you need to begin with the data type, which is character followed by that. We have to a special that a string name and the end. You have to specify the length you are using for your string. This will to be fixed. This will not buried in the runtime. Followed by strings, we have a special symbols. Special character are the symbols or a single characters or a sequence of the characters that the have a special benefit in meaning in the language and typically cannot be used in identifiers. Let us understand this in a bit detail in special symbols or characters such as a dollar, ampersand and a bracket etc. are having a special meaning which is predefined in C libraries. While designing the C programming language, this is the reason for which they are used in particular segment of code. 
For example, if we consider ampersand and the ampersand and the ampersand symbol is used in a printf and scanf statements only. This ampersand symbol is dedicated to locate the ads of the variables you have declared in your program and when you come into the modular symbol this is a special use along with the data types. For specifying the data type, for example, if you are declaring on integer type data type, you will be using the modular symbol along with the D. If you are declaring the data type, then you will be using the modular symbol along with S. So this is the about the special symbols and the basic examples for special symbols used in C programming language are modulus, ampersand and brackets. The next thing is identifiers. Identifiers are defined at the names that we declare in the program in order to name a value, variable, function, array and etc. Let us understand identifiers in a little bit detail. Identifiers are nothing but the name you declare for your variables and value, functions, array etc. which you are using in your program. Let us like Naming a person, for example, if you want to talk a person, then you call him by his name. So, in the same way, if you want to access the particular memory location of value on an array or what about the function you are using in your program, you call it with the name, which is its identifier. For understand this, let us consider a simple example, which is int x is equal to 10. Here int is the data type which are specifying for your identifier and x is the variable name which will be storing the value of 10. Followed by this we also understand some basic rules for declaring identifiers. Some of the basic and important rules used in declaring the identifiers as our first character should always be alphabet or an un underscore. The scanning character can be either digit or letters. For example, special character are not allowed the escape underscore. And last node is the identify should not have a keywords. Let us see one example to understand these rules. The first type of the example are valid identifiers which are declared using the rules. Declared for identifiers in C programming, for example, integer, which does not have any kind of special symbols or numbers in front of it, int. And the next one is underscore a, b, which is valid because underscore is the only special symbol, which is used here, followed by that we have an alphabet in the starting place. And after alphabets, we have the number. So this is also valid and invalid type of identifiers. Or you cannot specify the number at the starting position of an identifier. Followed by that, you can also not include space in between the name of an identifier. If you want to include the space or if you want to specify the space in if you can underscore the Followed by that, you cannot be specify the keywords as your identifier here long is keyword which is happens to be a data type. Once after you have understood the rules for declaring identifiers in your C program, let us move on the next top concept which is operator. We have the following operators in C program which will be understand about each one of them in detail. The first one happened to be arithmetic operators followed by that we have increment or decrement operators and next we have assignment operators followed by that we have a relation operators next are logical operators and last but not the least the bitwise operators. Let us understand each one of them in detail. Firstly, arithmetic operators. The arithmetic operators are used to perform the mathematical calculation such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and modulus. Let us go through a simple program to understand functionality of arithmetic operators. This particular program future all the arithmetic type of operators that we use in C program. 
Now let us try to compile this program and see how does it works. As you can see the code has been successfully compiled and we have the output. Firstly we have to declare three variables. Here using the integer data type the first variable is which stores the value 9. In it followed by that we have the next variable b which stores the value for e for in it and third variable is an integer type variable which is empty now we'll be use the third variable to store the result of the operations performed on a and b firstly we are going to perform the addition operation on the first two variables a and b and the value will be stored inside the c Similarly, the next operation would be subtraction and subtraction result will be stored in the value C. Followed by that, we have multiplication, division and modulus. As you can see, the program is being successfully compiled and the result are show is the below. Firstly, the addition 13 and subtraction 5, multiplication 36 and division is 2. Finally, the modulus operation which result in Reminder which is 1. Now I hope you have understood the basic functionality of arithmetic operators used in C program. Now let us discuss the next type of the operators in next video. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.